Reverend clergy, honored guest, Senator Menendez, Congressman Sears, Speaker Prieto, Mayor Sacco, Senators, Assemblymen, County Executive, Freeholders, former mayors, community leaders, and members of the public and friends of Bayonne, welcome. I would like to start by thanking Dr. McGee and Board of Ed staff for, holding, for hosting us and accommodating us today. A special thanks to my loving wife, Jamie, my son, my sons, James, Justin, Joshua, and yes, you, Nick. My mother and father, Catherine and James, and my sister, Lisa. I am forever indebted for the love and strength each of you supply day in and day out. Thank you. I am truly humbled by the support and friendships I have made leading up to this special day. Like many of you here today, I am a proud son of Bayonne. I owe Bayonne a lot of gratitude for being every pivotal memory of my life. I was raised on 4th Street and Trask Avenue by my parents who worked right here in Bayonne. I grew up playing in the streets with my neighbors that have become some of my longest lasting friends. I am a product of Bayonne school system. I played organized sports on just about every field here in town. Yesterday ended my 28 year career of the Bayonne Police Department. Serve, I had the pleasure to serve our community while raising to the rank of police captain. During that time, I had the chance to experience and understand the best and worst of humanity. I assure you there were far more happy memories than sad because the residents of Bayonne have a special spirit. Before I talk about where we are going, I would first like to recognize some of our special guests today. Senator Menendez. I'd like to especially thank Senator Menendez for being here today and for his work. When it comes to fighting for funding for transportation dollars, homeland security money, or resources for our police, fire, and public schools, nobody does more for the city of Bayonne than Bob Menendez. He often says that we here in Hudson County stand behind Lady Liberty. Well, it is also true, true that we here in Hudson County stand behind Senator Menendez because for us, he is much like Lady Liberty. He is our beacon of hope. Congressman Sears. Congressman Sears is no stranger when it comes to helping bail. From delivering critical dollars via safer grants, which has helped put more police and firefighters on our streets, to supporting the creation and expansion of our H Street station, Congressman Sears has gone above and beyond for our city. are always putting Bayonne first. Lastly, I'd like to thank all of our great speakers for their inspiring words. Now today is a historic day in the city of Bayonne. Today, our city is more poised than ever before to usher in a new era of change.
Today, I placed my hand on the Bible, took a sworn oath, and committed myself to providing good, honest, and open government for the city of Bayonne. My message today is straightforward. It's time to unify Bayonne. be clear on that. It takes a lot more than just words to unify a city. It's going to take three wards, 51 elect electric districts, three square miles, and all 65,000 residents to make this happen. <laughs> the time for campaigning is over. The time for governing is now. And by governing, we mean moving Bayonne in the right direction, with the right ideas and the right leadership. Meeting that standard is not going to be easy, but then again, change is never easy. We must open our minds and our hearts to doing things differently. We must have more dialogue about government, not less. And we absolutely must ensure that municipal government is honest, open, and responsive to the needs of its residents. A new era of government for our Peninsula City has begun. Beginning today, my team, along with our new council members, including Councilwoman Sharon Ash Nadrowski, Councilman Juan Perez, Councilman Tommy Cotter, Sal Valese and Gary Lavalusa will work to go will, will go to work on the issues that affect all of us. Now let me say this with respect to teamwork. They say it takes a village to raise a child. Well, it takes an entire governing body to move a city. I can't do this alone. That's why I'm proud to be part of this amazing team. Our number one priority is to make Bayonne affordable for all residents. For us, affordability is directly tied to stabilizing taxes. That's at the top of our list. We need to turn municipal government into a model of honest, open, and responsive government. In order for that to happen, we need to adopt a taxpayer comes first mentality of customer service. Again, this will be a top priority. Our Broadway district is in many respects the heart and soul of our city. We all know this. Now, knowing is only half the battle. We need to act. And we need to act by advancing smart development that supports this district, small businesses, and expands our current tax base. Coupled with the development of the military ocean terminal, this is the future of Bayonne. <laughs> President Clinton always talked about building bridges to the future. Well, here in Bayonne, our future is connected to building a bridge. The successful completion of the construction of the Bayonne Bridge is at the top of our to-do list. This will be a new challenge for our city. That's why we must closely monitor the construction process and ensure that our residents' interests are being represented and met at every turn. Recreation, it's become a rallying cry for this community. The expansion of recreation opportunities for our youth is something that has gone unnoticed for far too long. The development of soccer and multi-purpose athletic fields is the key to meeting this need head on. In the weeks ahead, we will be meeting with coaches, parents, youth sport leaders to put a plan into motion.
rent control. The passable of sensible rent control. Regulations is paramount to keep it our city affordable and safe for its tenants. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a must. <laughs> Finally, our teachers. Our teachers are the backbone of this community. We all know that they are far more than just teachers. They are mentors, social workers, leaders, role models, and lights in our children's lives. We must treat them as such both in the classroom and at the bargaining table. That is why I am committed to working towards resolving the teacher's contract throughout the summer. We cannot truly move Bayonne in the right direction until this is resolved. I look forward to working with all of you and address these issues and others as we move Bayonne in the right direction. They always say that there is no future in any job. The future lies in the person who holds that job. And if we all care about our community, we can change it, no matter what adversity we face. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. God bless. Wow.